going down the pub. It's a British staple. The pub means friends, food, and of course, drinking. It's even been immortalised on the big screen. Something to drink? Um, three butter beers and some ginger and wine, please. This is our chance to finally conquer the Golden Mile. Twelve pubs, twelve pints. I'd appreciate it enormously if you could just leave us in peace until I finish this lovely pint of Guinness. But finding an authentic pub can be a challenge for Brits abroad. So Berkeley side scoured the East Bay. Here's our top three. First up, Kensington Circus in, you guessed it, Kensington. Scott McFadden is its proud landlord. A pub is to me a community gathering spot. And, and, and to me it also includes, you know, beer. <laughs> so we have the traditional uh, English foods. Um, but, but more than the food, uh, the, the atmosphere of a neighborhood place where everybody kind of knows each other. I, don't, I wouldn't go so far as to say you're stepping into England when you go through the door because there is a lot of, of, of US influence, but it reflects, I think, this area quite well. Probably one of the most diverse areas in the entire country. Kensington Circus is a place with mixed influences. It has a London Underground themed emblem, an Abbey Road poster, and God forbid, a Spurs flag. But it also has an open kitchen and tamales on special. That said, the fish and chips here are amazing. Next stop, Commonwealth Cafe in North Oakland. Lizzie Olford bought it in 2015. It's a, a community center as much as it is like a pub, somewhere to eat and get a beer. It's, you know, a bunch of British dudes watching soccer to like, then it's like the brunch crowd and people on dates and it's like people with their children. And it's really kind of something for everyone. But some of the British touches can be a bit much for locals. You always have to kind of just make sure, like, have you had a cask ale before? Because if you don't ask, people will come back and they'll be like, my beer is warm and it is not carbonated. The previous owner did a really wonderful job fitting into the community. So I think, yeah, Commonwealth is definitely like, it's a little part of Britain, but it's hugely Oakland. Commonwealth Cafe has a lot of great touches, whether it's the lace curtains, the banknotes behind the bar, or just the wooden booths that you can snuggle into. But it also feels quite Oaklandish. It's the flag, the photo booth in the other room, and the slightly too sophisticated, albeit delicious ales. Last but not least, it's across town to the Englander in San Leandro. Roy Childress began pulling pints there in 97. Now, he's the general manager. The Englander, it's been around for 22 years. We still have a lot of authentic, um, you know, English food, social drinking, you know, uh, telling old stories about England. And sometimes they sing, you know, when they have a few too many. <laughs> when England's playing, we're packed. Come on, England. Soccer's gotten really big in the U.S. now, and people are really having a good time with it, you know, having fun. How they do it in England. The Englander wavers on a few points. There's no shepherd's pie, plowman's lunch, or a Sunday roast. But something about it does feel very English, whether that's the ugly carpets, the football scarves, or just the sign outside. Something about it reminds me of home. And that's why it's my top pick for Brits in the East Bay. Cheers to that. Those were the pubs, but how about the landlord's geography? Could they pronounce Leicestershire, Rotherham, or Blenheim Palace? Leicestershire. <laughs> Leicestershire? Leicestershire? Rother Rotherham. Rotherham. Rotherham? Blenheim Palace. Oh, God. I have no idea. Well, obviously, Blenheim Palace? Benin Palace? Bling Palace? I just can't speak British too much. <laughs> the one you didn't put on there that you, I really wish you had was here in the States is Worcestershire. Oh, right. But, but the Brits who come in, I'll call it Worcester. Yep. Right? Am I right? Yeah. So put that on the list and let me get that one right. <laughs> <laughs>